I told my wife I wanted to be cremated. I didn't think she was going to book me in for next Thursday. <laughs> oh, well, don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. It's been a while. But something I'm getting asked quite a lot is, why does my fire stick keep restarting? And sometimes it's just stuck on saying optimizing apps. So basically, it's stuck in a boot loop. So in this video, I'm going to go through a few different things you can try if you ever have this problem or if you're having it now. And also, your comments are going to be very useful, right? So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so it's going to be one of those videos that is a bit boring, but it's one of those videos that's going to help people that are having this issue. And one thing I will say is, if you've had this problem before where your fire stick is stuck in a boot loop and it won't start up or it's stuck updating and you manage to fix it let us know what method you used in the comments section down below and also anything you think people can try to fix it but yeah when using a fire stick the main issue people have are the power source so a lot of people power their fire stick from the usb on their tv now a lot of the time that doesn't have sufficient power so it isn't enough for the fire stick to update. So what it'll keep doing is just restarting. It'll say it's going to update and then it'll restart again. Now, if you haven't got it plugged into your TV, but you are still having that issue, a lot of people like to use OTG cables. And what this does, it allows you to plug in a USB device. Now, such as this Ugreen USB hub, this is actually powered from the fire stick power cable. So it's drawing power to the USB hub as well as the fire stick. So once again, if there's insufficient power going to your fire stick, you're going to get that it keeps restarting and it's stuck in a boot loop. If you don't have a USB hub and you simply use an OTG cable, then obviously you're using something that's USB. Whether it be external storage, it could even be a different remote so a usb remote because you don't like the fire stick one and that could also be causing an issue now if you use none of those and you simply use the fire stick cable provided and that's it then where is your fire stick plugged in is it plugged into a wall outlet or is it plugged into an extension and also with a fire stick it is provided with a one amp plug now what you could do is try such as a phone charger plug and these are two amp giving it more power so it could fix the issue. Now, if you've tried all those things and none of those work, I'm going to tell you something else you can try in a moment, but another thing is you could have a faulty power cable or a faulty plug. Now, it is worth noting you can use literally any USB to micro USB cable to power the fire stick, and any USB plug that's higher than one amp will also power it. Now, something else that can be an issue is... A friend of mine messaged me not so long ago saying, I've got a fire stick, but it's just stuck and it says updating and I can't seem to get it to work. And then after some time of thinking, he's got no Wi-Fi connection for that device. Because he's taken it out of the previous owner's house and took it to his own, there's no Wi-Fi connection, so it's not going to be able to update. So that is something else to bear in mind. Make sure you're connected to the same network you were connected to previously so Amazon or the Fire Stick can download and do the actual update. And like a last chance saloon sort of thing is you can factory reset your Fire Stick directly from your remote. Now, if I just drag me up here, what you can do is click on the back button and the right button. And once you click both of those in at the same time and hold them, I'm just going to start doing that. <laughs> but keep them held down. And then in a moment, we should see a message. Reset your factory. Oh, reset to that factory defaults. And then you can, I'm going to cancel it because I don't want to do it. But. If that's like a last chance saloon sort of thing, so if nothing's working for you, then a factory reset you can do directly from the remote and that could save your fire stick. But I would recommend that you try absolutely everything before you do a factory reset. But yeah, like I said, that's one of those videos that's a bit, uh, a bit boring, but I know it's going to be useful to some people. And one last thing you can check is that your fire stick isn't overheating. Obviously, as we know, 
if something like this overheats, it's going to switch off on its own and it'll restart. And something you can try is unplugging the device altogether, leave it unplugged for an hour or two and then plug it back in. And it's surprising how many people have found this works for them. And the reason I said your comments are going to be useful is because if you've had this issue, you can comment down below telling people what fix you used to get your fire stick working again. I may have not mentioned something you can do to get it working again as well. So there's different things in the comment section that people are going to be able to find and try and test and it might fix the issue they're having. And also I want to add, if anybody from Amazon is watching this, we need an option to turn off automatic updates. It's causing an issue for a lot of people and yes, automatic updates are quite useful for people who forget to check if there's a latest update, but it's going to solve this issue. Another thing that we could do with as well is having some sort of physical reset button on the fire stick itself. And then, like I said, another last thing you could try is connecting an Ethernet cable to the fire stick with such as an Ethernet adapter. I've done a full video on this. I'll leave it linked above. But yeah, anybody from Amazon watching this, just give us a, give us a bit of freedom and, a, and an option. But like I said, one of those, it's like I'm getting back into it. The kids are back at school, so I'm here to make videos again. And I enjoy talking to you a lot, but now I'm going to let you go because, yeah, I'm going to let you go, right? So that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!